Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond Donders. Hello, welcome to Desmond Donders. It's uh, getting towards the end of January now. And this week, we're looking at the other side of Banff. Normally when we come to Banff, it's all about the coast and the sea and the waves. But this time, we're looking at Dop House, the Mausoleum and the Ice House, hopefully. There's been some rugby training on this morning, so it's been a little difficult to get out. But I'm going to try and get the drone out. I'm also going to try and do some videoing of other things than me chatting to you. But I'm going to take a little walk and get some long distance footage of Dock House, hopefully. There's Desmond in the trees by those gates and the woodland which currently Lindsay is walking in. Full of pigeons and crows. We'll see what else we can see. There's been some trees down, hardly surprising with the storms. And I can hear the gulls over by the harbour. I guess we'll see some of them if we do get the drone up. Through the trees there is the golf course and in front of us the rugby club where up until recently there's been training sessions on which is why I haven't had the video camera out and there is Duff House. There's a a closer shot of Duff House and hopefully later this afternoon we'll get closer with a walk around the outside. We're here this weekend because we were told by uh, Environmental Scotland, Historic and Environment Scotland that it was open but uh, afraid not, it's midweek. Anyway, time to close down for now. And there we can see snowdrops. No snow, but the flowers are out. Out through the gates. And there's the park up. And a few more snowdrops, this time right beside Desmond. Most of the time when we're in Banff, we're down beside the sea on Banff Links. But there is a lot more to Banff than just the links, although we are next to a golf links here. So let us tell you about Doff House on this trip and hope you enjoy what we have to bring you.
Duff House was designed by William Adam and built between 1735 and 1740 for William Duff of Braco. The house is built of ashlar in three storeys to a square plan on a raised basement with advanced corner towers. The house and the associated Fife Gates, Ward Garden, Carly Lodge Mausoleum, Ice House, Bridgegate House and the Eagles Gate Lodge are designated as Category A listed buildings. The design and construction resulted in a legal dispute between the architect and owner which culminated in a legal case in 1743. Construction began on the 11th of June 19, 1735. The design of the house originally intended to have flanking pavilions linked by colonnaded quadrants but these were never completed as the Earl thought the house would be too large. This, along with further disagreements on the issue of masonry work, resulted in the legal case between the architect and Earl. David Bryce Jr. was later commissioned to provide a three-storey pavilion and corridor block, but this was damaged by a bomb in 1940 and subsequently demolished. The Earls of Fife moved out of Duff House in 1903, gifting the property to Banff Borough in 1906. Between 1911 and 1913, the house functioned as a hotel and then became a sanatorium until 1923, when it became a hotel again. The hotel closed in 1928 and Duff House entered a period of limited use. However, during the Second World War, the house became an internment camp and later a prisoner of war camp. In 1940, the house was damaged during a bombing raid, resulting in eight dead and serious damage to parts of the building. By 1942, the house was used by the Free Norwegian forces as their headquarters, along with use by Polish exile forces. Duff House. It's getting windy so there's not a lot of chance of the drone going up but uh, we've come to have a look 
and a walk round as it's not despite what the sign says open Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders and whatever you're doing in the countryside please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our future videos.